Zero Motorcycles now has an electric motorcycle that's cheaper than a scooter. Hey EV fans, before we jump into today's electrifying video, make sure you're plugged in. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and leave us a comment below. Trust us, you don't want to miss what's coming up. The 2025 Zero XC and XB are off-road only models in the US, but can also be street legal in Europe. For ECMA 2024, Zero Motorcycles is bringing something truly intriguing to the table, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, what's one of the biggest pain points that both motorcycle enthusiasts and those moto-curious folks who are thinking about getting into the sport have with EV motorcycles? That's right, price. Range, battery technology, and charging times are also factors, but none of that matters if the prices are too high for people to want to pony up the cash for them, right? Beginning with its 2025 lineup, Zero Motorcycles is taking steps to combat this problem. With the introduction of its new X lineup, as well as the announcement of a new development program that it's calling All Access. The 2025 Zero XE and XB are the first two bikes in the All Access lineup, which is planned to consist of a total of six new Zero EV motorcycles in the next two years, all priced under US $10,000. Here in the US, both the XE and XB will be sold as off-road machines, while street-legal versions will be available for sale in Europe. Both feature lightweight, as well as swappable battery packs so you can keep the fun going or just charge your battery off the bike if you prefer. We'll get to the specs on both bikes in a moment, but for now, I want you to consider the pricing on both of these bikes. Why? Because it marks the first time an EV motorcycle maker has offered motorcycles with prices that stack up against combustion bikes you might also be considering. The specs aren't directly comparable, of course. But for now, please take a look at these price charts. All prices are listed in USD and are accurate as of November 5th. The 2025 Zero XE sits neatly between the Honda CRF 300L Rally and the 2025 CF Moto Ibex 450 in price. That's honestly kind of astonishing. And if we move on to the jaw-droppingly inexpensive 2025 Zero XB, the price chart is even crazier. Take a look. One look at the XB and XC, and it's immediately clear that these bikes are designed to take on the Suron crowd. The XB is a couple of hundred dollars less than the Suron X, but even more than that, it's priced right in between the Honda Trail 125 and the Honda DAX 125. That's right. For the first time ever, Zero Motorcycles is offering an EV motorcycle for Honda Minimoto money. While it probably had to happen at some point, if EV motorcycles are ever to evolve, I don't know that I expected it to happen yet. That's great, but what are the specs? Without further ado, Here's what you get for your admittedly far fewer dollars than anyone has ever spent on a new Zero before. First, the higher performance model of the two, the 2025 Zero XC. Please note, all figures are claims from Zero and have not been independently verified. Here's a detailed overview of the 2025 Zero XC electric motorcycle. Power and performance. The Zero XC delivers a peak power of 21 horsepower, 15.5 kilowatts, and an impressive peak torque of 635 newton meters, around 468 lbfd, at the wheel, providing strong acceleration and immediate throttle response. Speed and range: it reaches a top speed of 53 miles per hour, 85 kilometers per hour, suitable for urban and off-road adventures. At a steady speed of 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour, it has a range of approximately 65 miles, 100 kilometers ideal for short commutes and recreational rides. Battery and charging. Equipped with a 4.3 kilowatt hour battery, the Zero XE takes around 5.5 hours to fully charge, making it convenient for overnight recharging. Build and comfort. With a lightweight build of 223 pounds, 101 kilograms, and a seat height of 35.4 inches, 900 millimeters, the bike is designed for agility and stability, suited for riders who prioritize maneuverability and comfort on various terrains. Overall, the 2025 Zero XE combines compact power with ease of use, making it an appealing choice for urban riders and outdoor enthusiasts looking for an eco-friendly, high-torque motorcycle. Now let's take a look at the specs on the 2025 Zero XB, which is the even more budget-friendly little sib. Here's a closer look at the 2025 Zero XB electric motorcycle. Power and torque. The Zero XB has a peak power of 10 horsepower, 
7.5 kilowatts, and a peak torque of 373 newton meters, around 275 lbft, at the wheel, delivering a balanced performance that emphasizes control and stability, especially suited to beginners or casual riders. Speed and range. This model has a top speed of 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, ideal for low-speed city travel or trail rides. With a range of 47 miles, 75 kilometers, at a constant speed of 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour, it's well-suited for short commutes and leisurely rides. Battery and charging. Equipped with a 2.4 kilowatt-hour battery, the Zero XB has a charge time of approximately 3 hours making it quick to recharge and ready for frequent, shorter journeys. Lightweight and comfortable design. Weighing only 139 pounds, 63 kilograms, and with a seat height of 32.7 inches, 832 millimeters. It offers excellent maneuverability and accessibility, catering to riders who prefer a lighter, easily handled bike. The 2025 Zero XB is a practical choice for urban riders and enthusiasts who value lightweight agility, simplicity, and quick recharge times in an electric motorcycle. Both bikes get fully adjustable front and rear suspensions, though their comparative levels of suspension travel are slightly different. The XE has 215mm up front and 248mm in the rear, while the XB has 195mm up front and 176 millimeters in the rear. Both bikes also come with IP65 water resistance ratings, so you don't need to be alarmed if you go through a puddle here or there. Additionally, the XB gets 19-inch wheels front and rear, while the XE gets a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear wheel. Both bikes get hydraulic disc brakes of unspecified provenance. At the same time, with prices like these, you're probably not expecting Oleans and Brembo, are you? Are you already a zero owner? Or do you own another EV motorcycle right now? Whether you've had one before or not, would the X lineup make you think about getting one? Let us know why or why not in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, EV lovers. If you enjoyed the ride, double check that you're subscribed, give us a big thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay charged, and we'll see you in the next video.